Welcome to Fed Scoop TV. I'm Camille Tutti. I'm sitting here with Chuck McGann, who's the CISO at the U.S. Postal Service. Welcome. Thank you. We're here at Intel's uh, Security Summit, which is hosted by Fed Scoop. Um, let's talk a little bit about some of the uh, uh, significant changes you've seen in your department when it comes to adopting innovation. I think some of the bigger challenges that we've had as, as far as you know, the corporate information security model is that we've had to now step up our game a little bit to, to support the speed of business process, to actually come out of the technology environment and focus a little bit more on the business environment. And I think that's been one of the things I'd say, you know, we've, we've had to do quickly. We've had to reevaluate our resources. We've had to take a look at all of our processes, our policies. As we move forward within our space, the challenge becomes our, our, our policies were you know, relatively static and stoic and said, you know, here's, here's the, the pillars of, of confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And we've had to move forward off of that a little bit to support some of the innovative technology that's going on in the market space. And is that specific to the, a, a more innovative environment, those challenges? I think it is. The Postal Service you know, was always considered to be the, the workhorse of communications within you know, the country. You know, our, our mission was to bind the country together with a, you know, a, an affordable cost model, which is the mail. So I think the challenge for us has been to come out of that model and say, what, what does today's patron want? What is today's customer looking for? They're looking for agility. They're looking for speed. What is the business customer looking for? They're looking for us to be a leader in communication type technology. Not, you know, in, in digital space, they want it faster. They want it, you know, more secure. I mean, in, in my space, it's about the security of, of the customer's information. It's about the security of that payment process. It's about the security of, of the information, what you buy online and what we deliver to you online, making sure that nobody gets that. And as the speed of delivery increases, then, and, and that results in more challenges for us to make sure that we're providing the level of protection and yet doing it at the speed that you, the customer, want to see it. So I think that's a challenge for us in the innovative process is that, that as the customer and, and businesses that rely on us to deliver, innovate faster, better, you know, into today's technology, we have to respond appropriately and provide the level of support that they want to see. And with those expectations that customers have, what are some uh, some of the um, trends that you see around innovation and security? Is agility part of that as well? I think agility is, is very much a part of that. Mobility, agility, you know, data analysis. It's it's all about understanding where you are today. It's about understanding what the customer wants. It's about you know the instant gratification desire of today's. You know, millenniums, Gen Xers, everybody wants their, nobody wants to wait for it. So how do you put together a package that delivers the customer uh, the information or the, the product, whatever that they want, and yet still stay within the business model of our ability within our infrastructure to provide that level of service without increasing our costs? So I think, you know, the innovation platform itself providing data analytics, where's, where does the product ship from? Can we get closer to the shipper? Can we get closer to the customer? How do we... How do we align our networks? And I think we've done a pretty good job of that in the, in, in the innovation space with our delivery mechanisms. How do we deliver faster? Can we use data analytics? Can we use mobility you know, to get you the information that you need to know when the product is going to be there and us to, to know how to level our workforce in, in making sure that we provide the level of support, the level of resource to get that product to and from, you know, both from the shipper and to you, the customer. And talking about the workforce, if you look into the future, how do you see that next generation workforce looking like? I, I thought about this one a lot, and, and the challenge, I think, is to figure out, it, they're not going to be technologists as much as they are going to be business, you know, educated and environment, you know, individuals. As, as businesses move, I think technology is just going to become, you know, red, basically, uh, Heterogeneous. It's it's just going to become ubiquitous, and it's going to be there. It's, it's it's going to be the same thing across the space. And I think how you leverage that with the data analytics and how your people understand the data that they have in front of them is going to make the big difference. So you're going to have data scientists moving forward. You're going to have you know business educated individuals. How do you support the customer? You're going to have technologists. There's no doubt about that. In how do they leverage the current and and increasing technology? And we saw. Uh, Amazon go out with drone delivery devices mm -hmm. and, and how does that play into the space? 
So is that something that you know the organization should look at? And, and I'm not saying it's right, wrong, or indifferent. What I'm saying is, as 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 a delivery model, I'm I'm not sure whether it works or not. But as an instant gratification solution, it certainly provides a level of support that you know the customer might want to see. And and again, how do we leverage that with the data analytics to say that that the environment can be supported by this delivery model or that delivery model? I think, and the 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 real important part is how do you secure that delivery infrastructure? How do you make sure that you know, that you're getting the package and the information that you expected to get? So, I think data scientists are going to be there. I think you know technologists are going to be there. You're you're going to have a lot of uh, blue sky you know thinking. There's a lot of glass. I mean, Google Glass is going to be key, and, and I think you're going to probably have heads up dashboards on your cars and things like that. So, I think that you're going to start to see that innovation take place for the end customer as we move forward and I think those are the people that you know we're going to need coming out of the colleges and universities and the technical schools to support that out of the box thinking it's no longer point A to point B it's what do we learn from point A to point B and how do we leverage that to do that better mm -hmm. I think that drone delivery sounds pretty interesting <laughs> I like my it's, mail it's, like that <laughs> it's interesting it's, it, it's an interesting concept um, parts of the country that might be called the skeet Mm -hmm. You know, so it, you got to be very careful when you move into, you know, figuring that, uh, um, and I, I'm not speaking for it, and I hope this doesn't go on tape, but th thinking that some some parts of the country might look at that as a government intrusion or, mm -hmm. or a, you know, an intrusion into their personal space and they might not want you seeing things that are over their houses or in their yards or things like that. So I think that's a privacy issue waiting to be solved. Uh, I'm not sure where it's going to go, but I, I think that speed you know obviously it's, it's that instant gratification how mm -hmm. do we how do we resolve that instant gratification desire on our customers part mm -hmm. and it's not just on the part of the postal service it's on the part of the seller it's on the part of the provider as well so how do we partner and and leverage everything that we know about what you want how do we get it closer to you and then how do we get it there in a reasonable amount of time at, a, at an appropriate cost mm -hmm. i think that's where we're going to be and, and obviously always how do we secure that information to make sure that you're the only one and you know that has the information you know about your package about your letter about your parcel obviously other than us and the only thing we know is that you got it from some from point a to point b mm -hmm. well thank you chuck it's been a pleasure having you on fed scoop thank tv you. appreciate it it's been a great thank pleasure thanks thank you thank you for watching fed scoop tv